Freak Zone, a found footage horror comedy produced by San Francisco State University's Feminist Filmmaker Fellowship. Unlike that big budget Hollywood garbo, this film is helmed by a cast and crew of women and queer filmmakers. And written and directed by me, local queer woman and screenwriting wunderkind, Charlotte DiBartolo. Four out of five dentists recommend Freak Zone, and that last one's probably a misogynist. The Freakstone team is high on talent, but given that it's a student film, it's a little low on budget, which is why we need your help. That's right, you, Daryl, as well as anyone else who has the extra funds to help make this film a reality. I'd like to thank those who've already donated and helped us reach our initial funding goal. For those of you who haven't contributed as of yet, your support and donations would still be greatly appreciated. Filmmaking is an expensive business and we can use all the help we can get. Support us on our Indiegogo campaign. And if you don't have extra cash lying around, you can follow F3 and Freak Zone Film on Instagram. So share it to your friends, share it to your enemies, share it to your mom and dad, share it to your Uncle Mike. We all got an Uncle Mike. Uh, share it to the president, share it to the former president, share it to the senator, share it to, I don't know, mom and dad. Um, <laughs> so spread the word, please. The funds accrued from this campaign will all go towards making this film a reality. Equipment, production design, craft services, entering film festivals, all the things we need to make Freak Zone the best film it can be. As a trans woman entering the world of film, I know that I've got a tough road ahead of me. And supposedly, strides have been taken to uplift creators like me. But the industry still bends to the whims of hateful people, whether they be prominent filmmakers with a history of bigotry or the people who continue to support them. Every filmmaker who belongs to an oppressed social group is greatly affected by this issue. Whether they be women or queer people or BIPOC or disabled, all of them are greatly affected by this. I love filmmaking with all my heart, which is why it's been so hard to come to terms with the fact that some people would rather see me dead than see my name in the credits of a feature. But I won't let that stop me. I will keep creating, and advocating and fighting until my voice is heard. And if not for me, then for all the trans kids out there who think that their voices never will be. And thankfully, I've got a fantastic team of extremely dedicated, talented people who I'm honored to call my friends. They've been so supportive, and I believe with all my heart that they are the right people to help bring my vision to life. A lot of them have a tough road ahead of them as well, but know that none of them plan on backing down either. So please, help us take our first step towards greatness. Freak Zone may be small in scale, but it could prove to have a big impact on, on our careers going forward. Your support would truly mean the world to us, and I promise that you won't be disappointed.